Right. The Seventh Day Adventist Church in Uganda will this Saturday, the 26th of November, install the seventh president of the Uganda Mission in a service that the Seventh Day Church, Nadia Kumbi. Pastor Dr. Moses Maka Ndimuchika, the president-elect, was voted in Nairobi, Kenya, on the 31st of August this year. For Seventh Day Adventists, the Archbishop-elect is also known as the president-elect. The executive secretary and executive treasurer will also be dedicated on that same day. These leaders will not serve a three-year term instead of the original a five-year term due to the COVID-19 pandemic that delayed the voting process by two years. The chief guest is expected to be the head of state, President Yuri Kagutam Seveni. Uh, the five years elapsed when we were in COVID and we couldn't to have the meetings, but we had the meetings this year. So this year we have elected three leaders to lead our country, lead our church in, in the Seventh Day Adventist. So as I said, these leaders are elected at a, a, a division level. That is the countries that make up the division. Saturday, the 26th of November, that is the coming Sabbath, we shall have the installation service of Dr. Pastor Maka and three and two other officials, the secretary and the treasurer. That function is taking place here. The program begins or starts at exactly nine and it shall continue up to one in the afternoon. We have invited guests, but because of COVID and Ebola, we cannot accommodate everybody. And now we have some new blood that is coming in, and we have some young blood that is coming in the administration, uh, which is supposed to stand for the millions of you around Uganda. So it is significant, and young people can now begin to take up the roles in many of the church uh, positions. So uh, the choosing of this a particular bishop is very significant, especially to young people. 